Good morning YouTube and the internet. Today we're prepping the head to be built. So I've had a bit of a practice getting these old valve stem seals out. I can do it with these long nose pliers. Um, all I did was wrap the tape around it and then with a Stanley blade cut down the line, open them up, they're just fine. The idea of that is to protect the uh, side walls here from damage from these. So I've done what four? One, two, three, four. Valve stem seals are out. All of those ones to go. It's obviously still very dirty. So once I finish pulling the valve stem seals out, I'm going to take it outside, give it a good thorough clean. So pretty simple with these long nose pliers. Pop it down inside here. Down inside there like that. Grab hold of the seal and just give it a bit of a. Oh, I haven't quite got it square. Got a bit of a squeeze, a good good squeeze on these. A bit of a wiggle and a twist. And it just works its way out. Be careful when it punch itself in the face when it comes flying off. There we go. So one valve stem seal removed. Um, they're going in the bin, so it doesn't matter if I destroy them in the process. So rinse and repeat that 24 times. Of course, you can buy a proper valve stem seal remover tool. Um, if you're worried about damaging anything, by all means, go buy one. They're not expensive. Uh, I don't happen to have one. And now that my valve stem seals have finally turned up and the rest of the seal kit, uh, I just want to get moving, so I can't be asked going looking for one. I'm just going to pull them all out with what i got. So, after pulling out all the valve stem seals, brought the old girl out here. It's still got that awesome blast tape on the machine side. And you can see in here, it's still covered in shit. So, I've got here some brake cleaner and some degreaser. Step one, degreaser. Slam it in there. The reason I haven't bothered pulling the can caps off is I already cleaned under those when I pulled them off. Um, and I'll give them a proper clean as part of the assembly process just underneath them. This process is to get rid of all the just the generally built up carbon and oil as well as uh, dirt and all the uh, swarf from where I did the uh, exhaust ports clean them up. It's facing the wrong way to show you that. Get in there. Lovely. I have pulled the valves out. Get it up under there. As you can see here where I've manually by hand with a barrel grinder um, open up the exhaust ports, that will free up some power, uh, especially in the mid-range and it will allow faster spool turbo, turbo spool even. So I'm going to let that soak for a minute while I go get the uh, hose ready. So I do have a power washer, which is what I use for the block, but I don't think that's necessary here, so I just want to flood it, make sure we get plenty of water in there. The reason being we've got all that swarf, the metal and everything in there as well that we want to make sure all of that is washed out. And the head drains are in the back of the block so I should have had it the other way around because it's downhill to the front. Oh no. I seem to have had a hose problem. Okay, let me turn this around so the head drains actually drain. Obviously all that tape's going to come off now. That's okay, it's on a piece of wood. It's not going to damage it. Alright, now I've got a brush. My brake cleaner. So the brake cleaner will flash off pretty quick. So we just want to work in one area. First we'll go down inside those exhaust ports. We'll just give it a good rub with this. Source ports are obviously much dirtier than the intakes. 
and it should just help break down the carbon. Give that a boss. Like that. Spray the next one. Rinse and repeat. Don't forget the uh, intake side, but there's not going to be nearly as much there. Rinse, flood. Rinse and repeat on this side, and then I'll flip it over and do the rest of the holes and the outer surfaces. So, how clean you get all this is entirely up to you and how much time you have to do it. I don't have a heap of time for this engine needs to be back in and tuned with moving house and um, also having to uh, like get the engine in the car and everything before I move. So you can make this cleaner than what I am. It's just a matter of how much time you're willing to spend on it how much time you have to spend on it. Uh, this is very effective though, it's taken a lot of the shit off. As you can see there, there's a lot of carbon sort of that's melted away inside the exhaust ports, but I'm gonna give it another hit with the degreaser. Now that the brake cleaner's done its job and loosened everything off, the degreaser should uh, finish the job, I think, pretty much. Uh, but I do have to flip it over again in a minute and get on the top side of it. So you can see here, it's quite clean now. There's still some carbon in here, but that will come off very easily. Uh, so like I said, after I finished giving it the hit with the brake cleaner, I went over it with the degreaser to remove the residual dirt. Grime, and that's it. This tape is still holding on, which is a miracle. Uh, and I have to be very careful when I take this off. There's likely to be some metallic swarf and stuff uh, from these galleries that are trapped in here. So I just need to be cautious. I may take it off out here now that I'm at the point where it wants to be built. And then I just have to be very careful to make sure I've always got this sitting on rags or something. Because the only way to make sure all that swarf and everything doesn't go through any of these galleries permanently is to flood it. But yeah, I'll have a think about that and a break for five minutes because it's hot as balls again. It's only like nine o'clock in the morning and I reckon it's 30 degrees here in Brisbane. So yeah. Anyway. I'm extremely happy with that. Uh, in the time I've got, as far as the general cleaning of that head, that'll be sufficient. Um, seal surfaces, the cam uh, caps and things like that will get more cleaning than what I've, the general surfaces have. But that just gets rid of the bulk grime and gets me in a position where I am ready to start building this head now that I've got everything I need to put it together. And then I can bolt it to the block, drop it in the car. Shut up compressor. So of course, <clears throat> this wouldn't be my channel if I didn't fuck something up. I left a valve stem in there. Just one. Just one, so that means I've got to clean that whole area again. Because I need where the stems go on to be clean as part of reassembly. So that's a pain in the ass. You can see here, this is the swarf I'm talking about. At the moment it's all stuck to the dissolving adhesive on the tape but there will be more under there so that's what I'm talking about when I uh, was talking about the swarf being on the underside there I just said be super careful uh, better go get my pliers, get that one out give that a burst of degreaser so as you can see the head is done, it's cleaned uh, I took the crappy tape off because it was dissolving the adhesive anyway uh, I didn't have anything really to worry about because there was no swarf or anything stuck to the underside of that tape but I did want to make sure that I wasn't going to leave something in there that could damage the, the already surface face so it's now ready to be assembled you 
can see down there where the valve stem seals go. It is not pristine. It is not perfect. But it's pretty bloody clean. Now also make sure, I also make sure to um, get in all these galleries here, make sure I flooded out anything uh, untoward, like the degreaser or the, or the brake cleaner. Make sure everything is fully flushed out. Um, yeah, so that head, after it dries in the sun for a bit, will be ready to go in the car, which I'm very happy about. Very shiny.